What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you a super quick and easy recipe for mashed red potatoes. But before I do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, enough running my mouth, we have potatoes to peel. Two pounds of red potatoes to be exact. Make sure they're nice and clean and dry, unlike me, for some reason I did not dry these potatoes before I started peeling them, which is not very smart, but hey, uh, we all make mistakes, right? So once your potatoes are nice and clean and dry, you're gonna break out your potato peeler or your knife, whatever works best for you, and make sure that you peel the potatoes. I'm the first to tell you that peeling potatoes is not fun. Uh, so if you wear the pants in your house, try to delegate this to the wife or husband. Obviously that didn't work out for me. As you can see, I am still peeling potatoes. Once that's done, you're going to want to cut these into halves or quarters, depending on how large the potatoes are. The larger ones, you're going to want to quarter them. Uh, the others, you just cut them in half. If you leave a little bit of skin on your potatoes, that's not a big deal. I actually like a little skin on mine for some texture, but that's totally up to you. The goal here is just to make sure they're all the same size so they cook at the same rate. One tip that I highly recommend is trying to boil your potatoes in chicken stock rather than just simply water and salt. I feel like this adds a ton of extra flavor to your potatoes and with a simple dish like mashed potatoes, a few small tweaks or changes to your recipe really make a ton of difference. So give it a try and let me know what you think. You're just going to add your two pounds of potatoes to your pot along with a quart and a half of chicken stock. Bring that up to a boil until the potatoes are fork tender. While those potatoes are boiling, we're going to go ahead and get our cream mixture ready which is one cup of whole milk and a half cup of heavy cream along with a half stick of butter and the star of the show, my secret ingredient, Borzin Garlic and Herbs Cheese. That stuff is phenomenal guys, you have got to try it. It's worth the price of admission alone. That will make your mashed potatoes so much better. One key step is to make sure your cream is nice and warm before you add it to your potatoes. We're also gonna add in a teaspoon of garlic here. The reason why you want this mixture to be warm before you add it to your potatoes is if you don't and you put cold milk into your potatoes, it's going to drastically reduce the temperature of the potatoes and make the texture uh, gluey and it's just not pleasant to eat. We're going for a nice creamy texture. So adding our milk, our butter and a little bit of garlic and we're just going to bring that up to a light gentle simmer and set it aside until we're ready to mash our potatoes. If you want to add more or less butter, feel free to tweak the recipe to your preference. For your potatoes, just do a simple fork test. Lift one up with a spoon and then puncture it with a fork. If it goes in easy like that, you know they're nice and tender and ready to mash. For a more uh, chunky or lumpy potato, which is my preference, I like to get the handheld masher out and just uh, mash them up like so. If you want a very smooth and creamy mashed potato, then you want to get your hand mixer out and really beat them until they're nice and smooth. Once you got them where you want them, you're going to go ahead and add in that boars and garlic and herbs. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients are listed for you in the description box below. Once you've worked in your boars and cheese, we're going to pour in a little bit of our cream and butter mixture a little bit at a time until we reach the consistency that we're looking for. Once you get the consistency down packed, you're going to go ahead and season it with a little salt and pepper. No need to get crazy on the seasoning because there's tons of flavor in the chicken stock and the boars and cheese. So I like to just go in with a little salt and pepper, maybe a little onion powder if you like. Other than that, you should be good to go. Season the taste as always. And that is the perfect consistency for the potatoes that I like. I like mine a little bit lumpy. Looking good. This is the perfect side dish for your weeknight meals or for Thanksgiving. I added another tablespoon of butter just to give it that beautiful uh, pool of butter on top for the money shot. We're going to garnish this up with a little green onion. Another trademark money shot. And you know I got to taste these. Make sure you get some of that butter on there. Oh, almost lost a bit. Nothing goes to waste here. If you're a lip reader. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you do give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, and as always, thank you for your support.